welcome to another Tweedy Outdoors video. Uh, going to be doing a different one, um, quite distinct from wild camping. I'm staying at an hotel. This is, uh, perhaps some of you might recognise it. This is the famous Bear Island Hotel in Devon, just off the coast from the village of Bigbury. It's made famous by Agatha Christie, who wrote two of her novels here, um, which are also both set on the island. So you may, perhaps from the um, initial glimpses, if I manage to get those in, recognise the island and uh, its iconic Art Deco hotel from those brief glimpses. It is in fact my birthday um, and very happily uh, my birthday this year has coincided with the school strikes, the school closures here in the UK. We have two days in a row of glorious midweek freedom from the oppression of being educated. Uh, I mean, I'm not being educated, but my daughter is normally. And um, by very happy additional coincidence, uh, the beach house at Burr Island, which you can just about see down there, I'll probably see some more of that later, was available for this one night, very brief stay here on Burr Island. Uh, so it just seemed like all the stars were in alignment and uh, this was the place to be for this particular trip. So um, I hope I can show you around a little bit of the island while I'm here. Uh, the weather is not great. Obviously, you know, imagine all this with glorious blue sky in summer. It, it's, you know, it's, it's March. It, it's, it's England and March. So, you know, uh, expectations need to be set accordingly. But um, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, it's going to be a fun trip. Not only wild camping, uh, sorry, um, staying in a bloody hotel. Uh, but anyway, hopefully uh, a fun time will be had. This is the balcony at Agatha's beach house with those beguiling sea views. Uh, imagine that with a blue sky and sunny weather without the um, the wind. Ooh, a hot tub. Oh dear. Uh, I said I could just wander around here. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, I was hoping to get a sort of vantage point where I could see the, uh, the beach house better from. One of those danger cliff edge signs. In there, there for other people. Down there is the mermaid pool. I don't know if you can still hear me. That's a sort of tidal pool fed by the tide. Um, usually, I think a couple of degrees warmer than the sea temperature because the uh, you know the water's kind of trapped there. I don't think that's going to help on a day like today. Uh, maybe a slightly better view of the uh, the hotel and uh, the beach house down there. The, the tiny little strip of land. Is that an isthmus? The sort of tidal causeway that joins Burr Island to the mainland. There's Big Brion Sea over there. Uh, at the moment it's I think more or less low tide. We're quite close to low tide so you can just walk all you can drive if you've got one of those Land Rovers across the beach. Uh, later on the, uh, the tide will be coming in and you'll need to use the sea tractor. There's the sea tractor. Magnificent beast. What a wonderfully English holiday this is. It's raining, the wind is blowing, it's cold. The sea looks rough. Brilliant. What more could you want? I was hoping if I came this way, I don't know if you can hear me with the wind. I was hoping if I came this way, I might be able to get a glimpse of the, um, the beach house from underneath, from the, uh, the beach that it's on. You'd think there would be uh, steps leading directly down, but uh, perhaps your average Bear Island Hotel beach house resident tends to just stay up there in the warm and dry, particularly weather like this. So there it is. Look, some sand. <laughs> Oh, I love this. I love how bleak it is. It's absolutely fantastic. 
and yet up there the promise of champagne and cocktails <laughs> isn't this lovely <laughs> I apologize for the uh, the obscene um, well just the obscenity really generally um, but you know here we go it is my birthday cheers Cheers. <laughs> Look at that view. Well, it's hard to know in the final edit how much of the um, unpleasantness of Tweedy Outdoors lounging around in the hot tub uh, will have been left in the, uh, the ultimate video. And I uh, apologize for width. Uh, if you have been subjected to that for a while. Um, um, I promise that that, that that is the full extent of it in this video. Uh, and I'm now taking you to much safer territory. The pub. The light's fading a little bit now. It is uh, six something, um, six, 6.30ish. Sunset was probably half an hour ago. There wouldn't have been anything to see of that. Here, given the uh, the grey, miserable weather we're having today, but um, um, I think it's time to go to the pub. The tide is still out. It's the uh, the causeway, the thin strip of land that joins Burr Island to the mainland. There is still walkable, still uh, an open beach. I felt like, uh, you know, given that, I should just take a moment to appreciate what an absolute beauty of a pub. The Pilchard Inn is when seen from the beach. It is apparently a rather ancient and venerable hostelry dating back to 1336, if you can believe that, uh, far predating the, uh, the, the hotel on the island. Actually, that, I don't know if you can quite see the, uh, just to the, we've got the Art Deco edifice over to the left, slightly lit up, and just to the right of that is a, a green, more sort of wooden looking building, which is apparently at least part of the original hotel. The current sort of main Art Deco building of Bear Island is, is, I think, 1920s, late 1920s. But there was some sort of presence here in hotel terms going back to something like the 1890s. I think that's now used for, there's the sea tractor, now used for uh, staff accommodation. But um, before either of those things, by several centuries, apparently we are led to believe, uh, and it is a gem, so I would like to believe, the Pilchard Inn was already there. Always used to be a divide here between the uh, hotel residence side and the non-hotel residence side. I think that's gone now, which is uh, probably all for the better, you know, the pub should be pubs. But, uh, revel in that for a moment. What I think is the most beautiful half of the Pilchard Inn now it's more like this is the dining half and um, I think this, you know, in, in the daytime we'd perhaps see a, a, a better aspect of uh, from here but um, it probably has to be one of the most beautiful pub seats anywhere in the world just staring out into the, uh, the, the dark bleakness now at this time of day, but um, it's a sort of alcove seat with a sea view behind it. Good morning. I don't mind telling you, uh, some questionable choices were made about the selection of refreshments yesterday evening. Uh, you may have noticed a, uh, a tail off in the quality of oration and or camera work uh, towards the end of last night's footage. Apologies. 
<laughs> oh, on the hot tub. It's, um, it is the following morning. Uh, at some point we have to check out and try to get back across the mainland. The timing is slightly unfortunate because the, uh, the tide is now coming in, which would normally mean, uh, you know, the, uh, a fun opportunity to go on the sea track to which you can probably just about see around the corner there. But it is a bit choppy and we had a warning in advance that the sea tractor may not be running. So we might be marooned on the island until 3 p.m. or so when the tide goes back out again. Which, you know, normally would sound like a wonderful opportunity to just hole up in the Pilchard Inn and enjoy that for as long as we can. But uh, given my slightly fragile state, I may be giving the pub a wide berth today. So we'll see how this pans out. This is the Palm Court Burr Island. Rare opportunity to see it when it's quiet. First thing in the morning. The deco. Quite an eccentric addition to uh, one of the dining rooms there, back end of a boat. This thing needs a zoom. You can see the uh, sea tractor crossing the causeway. The, um, it is a bit stormy, but apparently there is going to be one last run back to the mainland. So uh, hopefully we can get off back to civilization. Pilchard in. Goodbye Bear Island. Goodbye Bear Island. Well I hope you enjoyed that little trip to Bear Island. Um, apologies for the uh, the obscenity part way through. Uh, you're probably still recovering from that if you've made it this far without going into a state of shock. But uh, thank you very much for watching. I enjoyed that little mini break midweek for my birthday thanks to the uh, National Education Union for striking and letting my daughter come with me. And um, I will bid you adieu. Goodbye, thanks for watching from Burr Island. Bye.